guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rise. We're back here at Dream Giveaway Garage, and guess what? I have that one cruise missile of a four-door performance sedan people are dreaming about. This is it. This is a 2022 Cadillac CT5V Blackwing Edition. But before we get into this V8 supercharged goodness of a sedan, let's talk about what's going on here. Cadillac. This famous American brand has been around for more than 115 years, built a name for itself with their luxurious, high-performing vehicles. Over the years, sh there was a shift that took place where people went from sedans to SUVs. And guess what? Cadillac was there with the mighty Escalade to bring in tons of people into their family. But you know what? We're moving towards electrification in the 21st century, but Cadillac decided, you know what? Let's go out with one last hurrah, and that is what we have here. So this is the end of their internal combustion engine performance, and where we're gonna see that page turning towards electrification. But with this four-door sedan, not only is it all about straight line speed, but also the work that's been done to the suspension, the chassis, and all the other bits really makes this a four-door corner carver. Now, you do have a lot of choices, believe it or not, still to this day when it comes to performance sedans. But there's that one American brand, other than Cadillac, that really is doing the business by adding the extra two doors, but also adding supercharged V8 power. You know what that is. That's gonna be the Dodge Charger Hellcat and Hellcat Red Eye. But what I wanna do is I wanna compare the last of those V8 supercharged Cadillacs up against that charger and see which way should you go for your supercharged goodness in that family four-door sedan. So if you're ready, I'm definitely ready. Let's dive into this 2022 Cadillac CT5V Blackwing and find out. Right off the bat, the style. It really came to fruition when they redesigned and moved away from the CTS and brought out the CT5, you could see how all the lines really just come together on this Blackwing Performance Edition. Of course, when you're starting at the front of the business, you're gonna get the latest technology when it comes to lighting. So full LED headlights, LED daytime running lamps, and turn signals. And then on top of that, you are gonna get functional corner vents. So when you're comparing this to the Charger, obviously the Charger is a larger vehicle a lot larger vehicle, but it does have more horsepower. But if you look at this Cadillac, it seems that the way everything comes together, it's a little bit cleaner in its overall execution, but you're still getting that functionality. Ours, of course, has that massive carbon fiber front splitter, something that you can't get on a Charger Hellcat unless you go to the aftermarket. This is gonna help provide lots of downforce. You have more functionality with these inner vents up front so you're getting tons of airflow to all the heat exchangers and then as we come across that center grill so much history so this being a true v series car v standing for that ultimate performance they actually give you the unique grill and what i love is all the design elements that they put into each of the openings that's actually there to help increase airflow you got that cadillac badge Forward-facing camera, another thing that you don't get or can't get on a Charger Hellcat Red Eye or standard Hellcat. More carbon fiber up top. And then, of course, as we drop it down, you'll see that beautiful V-Series grill on the bottom portion as well. And that front splitter carbon fiber going all the way across to stop the air from going underneath the vehicle. But definitely the frontal area is a lot smaller than that mighty charger. Now, when we get up onto the hood, you don't get the bulge that you want like when you go Mopar. But what Dream Giveaway did is that they added this very sexy satin black racing stripe with the red pinstripe on the side. And I love the way it's got the black wing name kind of etched into the racing stripe. It gives it that little extra something that I think it needs from the factory that the factory did not do but definitely with the black and the satin black and just a little bit of red really makes it pop. Now, as we come around the bend, what are we working with? First of all, you'll notice how it's not just about a front splitter, but they actually rise up 
to help with that airflow down the side of the vehicle, what are we working with? We are working with these Forge aluminum wheels, 19 inch. So if you're all about size, these are an inch smaller than your Charger Hellcat wheels. But the good news is when you go 19 inch wheel, not only is it lighter, so you have less unsprung weight, all four corners, less rotating mass, but also a larger selection of performance tires. Here at Dream Giveaway, they decided to add the Continental Extra Contact Sport tires to give you that grip. One thing you could do on this Cadillac is actually choose your brake caliper colors. So you have those beautiful dark cherry metallic red with the V logo, Brembo six piston calipers are gonna clamp down on those rotors that are well over 15 inches in diameter, just like the Charger Hellcat and Hellcat Red Eye. They are two piece rotors. And one thing that you can do that this car does not have, you can option carbon ceramic brake rotors the first time on any Cadillac. And this vehicle has the magnetic ride suspension. Version 4.0, that's going to calculate the compression and the rebound damping every nanosecond. You do have adaptive damp dampers on your charger, but these all function by itself depending on which mode you're in to really give you the perfect amount of balance when you're driving this vehicle. Now, as we come down the side, I like the way Dream Giveaway blacked out the V-Series badge, matches nicely with that, so with that racing stripe. And then look at the side. This is what the car needed. That beautiful black wing graphic going down the side of the vehicle. You do have a functional fender vent. Love the way it kind of flares out, shows that extra muscle behind this four-door sedan and it's functional. And we have carbon fiber all the way down the side with that beautiful side sill extension. It's one of the vehicles that you could see this and park it next to an AMG, park it next to a RS7 uh, from Audi or a BMW, say, uh, you know, five series M5 or something like that. And it really falls more into alignment than what the Charger, Hellcat and Red Eye brings. That's more of that ultimate muscle car. This has the muscle, but it's got that fit and finish that really separates it from the rest of the pack. Now we do have a panoramic sunroof. Yes, that's another thing you can't get on your charger. And I like the way everything obviously is gonna be black on black because we got this murdered out CT5V Blackwing. At the tail end of business, you're looking at 305s. So we got a nice 305 width on the rear wheels here. I love the way it's got the V badge. You can see that nice uh, dark metallic cherry red color and that's gonna help get you the grip because this is a real wheel drive vehicle, just like the Charger. Coming around back, you got this ultimate sexiness and carbon fiber trunklet spoiler. Look at the kick up. Nice angle, gonna give you the downforce and boy oh boy, does it look good. And then some of my favorite tail lights in the whole industry. I love the way they do this wonderful waterfall effect. You got your blacked out Cadillac badge and then dropping it like it's hot, V-Series and carbon fiber rear diffuser with our quad tip exhaust. Yes, that is the GM Performance multi-valve exhaust. We even have an electronic limited slip diff to get the power to the ground. But why don't we go ahead, since we're talking about power, let's pop the hood of this Blackwing and check out its supercharged heart. All right, guys, we got that hood open. You do have hydraulic cut struts. Underneath the hood is probably one of the beefiest strut top braces I've ever seen on any production vehicle. Look at that, it looks like a girder from the freaking Brooklyn Bridge with the V-Series badge, gonna help stiffen up the front end. And underneath that brace, you'll notice that LT4 engine, which was hand assembled by Nicholas at the Performance Build Center that's in Bowling Green, Kentucky. I love the addition to the Cadillac name on the top of the supercharger with that silver trim and actually a tasteful plastic engine cover. But you might be saying to yourself, well, Joe, I got a Z06 Corvette. I got a ZL1 uh, or ZL11LE Camaro. I got the same engine. Yes, it is an LT4 like yours, but guess what? Chevrolet and GM and everybody else decided to let Cadillac have some extra goodies there. So what are we looking at? We're looking at a 6.2 liter LT4, now pumping out 668 horsepower, 
559 pound-feet of torque. If you're wondering, well, Joe, how did we get that extra horsepower? They actually added a larger supercharger that's a 1.7 liter Eaton supercharger, which increases airflow by 46%. It can be mated to a six-speed manual, Tremec six-speed manual, or of course that fast shifting 10 speed automatic. If you're comparing this to the Charger, you might say, well, Joe, the Cadillac comes up a little short horsepower wise. And guess what? You are correct. But where the Cadillac shines is in its weight. Because when you look at performance numbers, zero to 60 in 3.5 seconds, quarter mile is gonna fly by at 11 and a half seconds at 128 miles an hour, top speed around 202 miles per hour. The big news, like I was saying, is gonna be weight. You're looking around 4,000 pounds for the CT5V Blackwing compared to the Charger Hellcat Red Eye, that's almost 4,500 pounds. What's also fantastic is how they got the weight down is that that electronic limited slip diff is actually 22 pounds lighter than the previous CTSV. I'm sure everybody remembers that performance car. With the manual, you do have no lift shift and the automatic rev match downshift features. And this one is equipped with the performance data recorder, which you can't get something like that on your Charger Hellcat. But why don't we go ahead? I want to hear what Nicholas's work, because he's the guy that hand assembled this LT4. I want to hear what his work sounds like. If you're ready, I'm ready. Let's fire up this Blackwing. guys we're inside this 2022 Cadillac CT5V Blackwing it's a mouthful but you know what it's worth saying because it's a very special car and the last of its kind now I know you're saying to yourself well Joe how much is this thing because I'm looking at a Charger Hellcat Red Eye I optioned one out to $95,000 how much is this Cadillac well the way that this one has been optioned with the brake color, with the wheels, the seats, everything else, you're looking at right around $100,000. There still is that extra option where you could go carbon ceramic brake rotors, which would bring the price up to $114,000. But remember, we're here at Dream Giveaway Garage. Maybe you'll win this one. Let's see what you get when you win with that special opportunity. To the door panels, love what they did. Super smooth, real carbon fiber, you got the AKG optional audio sound system, Alcantara, white contrast stitching, really makes the, the door look classy and sporty all at the same time. Door pocket's a little tight, so instead of a Whopper or a Big Mac, you're just gonna have to go regular cheeseburger. You can't even get extra pickles. And a bottle of Coca-Cola original, not the new blend flavor like they had many years ago. Going from the door panel to the dash, same story. Soft touch material, carbon fiber galore, and then more stitching and more screen size than what you're gonna get in the Charger. In the Charger, you have that 8.4 inch Uconnect 4 system. In the Caddy, you got over 10 inches of visual pleasure. I like the way it's integrated into the dash and kind of slanted forward. You would think it would create a lot of glare, but it does not. Wireless Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto, Wi-Fi hotspot, navigation, nice, easy to use swipe features. We got Amazon Alexa. Hey, Amazon Alexa, are we gonna beat a Charger Hellcat Red Eye today? Yes, for sure. 
So as you can see, Amazon Alexa is on board with this Cadillac and then cameras. Nobody does the cameras better than General Motors. The resolution is ridiculous. 360, there we are out the front. And then you could just use the touch screen to go through the different angles. Look, you wanna check out those wheels? Wow, they look good, don't they? Straighten it back out. And you got all your trajectory lines and everything. And then you just hit home and it brings you back to home. Now, one thing that this Cadillac has, it does, it's not performance pages, but when you hit the V series button, look at this, you go into V mode, you could actually adjust everything right on the screen here. Really like that ease of use. And unlike the Charger Hellcat Red Eye, it doesn't take five hours to bring this information up. Windshield wipers work great, one touch operation, and everything else is super smooth and clean. You got your start stop button right by that windshield wiper stock. I had to show the wind, somebody literally asked, there was a guy named Johnny from New York that wanted me to show the windshield wipers working in this vehicle. Your AC vents, dual climate control, nice metal switch gear, obviously gives it that extra touch. We got ventilated seats and heated seats, wireless charging, our different mode selector button, carbon fiber, and then this one is option with the 10-speed automatic transmission, fast shifts, nice clean integration into the dash, open up door number one, voila, two cup holders, and then we got our V Cadillac key fob, that V series. And if you're wondering, well, Joe, why is the key fob red? You could actually option the color to match the brake caliper color. So that's not the color of our Cadillac, that's the brake caliper color. Spin it around, we got remote start, which is nice. And then look, we got some change. When we stop on a dime, you could give everybody change. That's how well the brakes work in this Escalade. So we're gonna be using that later in the drive portion of the review. Close it up, you got your direct drive control knob, very similar to what BMW uses, more carbon fiber. You have a nice little snuggy area to put your phone in while you're going through the twisty bits. Open up the lid, whoa. You do have plenty of room for a baker's dozen of Twinkies, USB-C, USB, and a 12 volt. Close it up, and then my favorite thing are these seats. Look at the stitching, look at the pattern, the beautiful gloss black, the V logo, all the way down, wonderful bolstering, full electric assist, one piece sport backs, and you could color combinate these things into so many different colors. I don't even know if that's even a word, combinate but we're starting it here on Radies Rides. Let's do some combinating. What you can do is pick your seatbelt color. And obviously, if you're going race, you gotta go red. That gives you an extra five horsepower. Alcantara, just like your favorite pussy cat that you have at home. And then watch this. You wanna open this bad boy up? One touch operation. Love it. Nice, fast. Look, mom, no hands. You could do your hair, do your eyebrows, looking good. Coming over here to the business end, I got a numbered steering wheel in this performance Cadillac that I want to show right, you. guys, business time behind the wheel. You do have your two memory seat settings for the driver's side. I love this aluminum sill plate. It lets you know who this was created by. And you got the V-Series logo that lights up nice LED. Foot box made just like their prototype race cars. Nice aluminum dead pedal, brake pedal, and throttle. I would prefer the three pedal set up with the Tremec, but that's just me. You do have your seat controls easy to get to. You can actually adjust the bolstering and that lower lumbar. I'm six feet tall, plenty of room in here. Steering wheel, straight out of a race car. I love the way they got the red leather stripe up top, carbon fiber with that number plate. So this is number 065, 81065, carbon fiber. And I love the way they added this knob where you could go through the different traction modes. You do have metal paddles on the back of the steering wheel to go up and down that 10 speed automatic. And it is a electric tilting and telescoping steering wheel. Dash 12 inches smacked right in your face of visual pleasure. I love that tachometer, the speedometer. When you go into your different modes, go into V mode, you can make your adjustments for the traction, inactive, wet, dry, sport, and you also have your different drive modes as well. You could do using that drive mode selector button. So nice, easy operation, and you got a head-up display, clear as day. But why don't we go ahead, let's get into the back seat 
and see how much space you have compared to the charger in this black one. All right, guys, back seat time. And you know what? You would be correct in saying, hey, Joe, it looks like there's less room in this Cadillac CT5V Blackwing compared to the Charger Hellcat. And guess what? You're 100% correct. But the good news is, remember, I'm six feet tall. I'm still not touching the headliner. And you do have that split panoramic sunroof setup. Now, there's some good things and there's some bad things. But one thing I'm not going to do is I'm not zonking this, what I'm about to show you. The backs of the seats, beautiful carbon fiber with the V-Series badge. The bad news is no pocket, but I don't give a damn. You're not eating in my Blackwing. And if you want Twinkies for your competition that you beat at the track, you got that Baker's Dozen right in the center console. So other than that, nobody should be bringing any food in this beautiful car, back seat or front seat. Now you do have rear AC vents to keep your passengers cool as you're getting up to 202 miles an hour because they're going to be sweating bullets. USB-C, 12 volt. Like I said, no pockets. You get to stare at this. And this is just, I could actually hang this on the wall in my house as a piece of artwork. That's how beautiful the back of the seat is. And then you do get an armrest, soft, two cup holders. And of course, everybody's getting the red seat belts while you're doing 200 miles an hour back here. And remember, when you do 200 miles an hour, you're traveling the length of a football field every single second. But let's go ahead, let's get into the trunk area, see how it stacks up against the Hellcat. All right, guys, time to get into that trunk area. Obviously, this being a four-door sedan, believe it or not, it's practical. If you could call a Blackwing practical, hit that button, bring it up, and you'll see that you have tons of space. You could even fold down the rear seats, 60-40 split. They mount the battery in the trunk for that weight balance. And then you even have, of course, the Blackwing Twinkie tray in the back. And if you're wondering, well, Joe, what size do we have back here? You're looking at 12 cubic feet. It is smaller than the Charger, but you got to figure out, well, what do you want? Do you want a little bit more size? Do you want something that's a little smaller? But you know what? If you're ready, I'm ready. Let's get to the real information. Let's go on throttle and see how the CT5V Blackwing performs. All right, guys, we left Dream Giveaway Garage. We're in this 2022 Cadillac CT5V Blackwing. Of course, I have it in full V performance mode, and we're gonna do a little bit of both. We're gonna have the 10 speed shift for us, and then we're gonna also use those massive metal paddles behind the wheel to shift up and down the 10 speed box. Now, one thing you're gonna notice compared to the Charger is just obviously the fit and finish. The materials, this is what a lot of people want the Charger Hellcat to be when it comes to the materials in here, but uh, let's go on throttle, shall we? On throttle, here we go. <laughs> wow, it's fast shifts. I love the head up display in this thing. Gives you all the pertinent information. The brakes work phenomenal. And you're getting a great sound. Now, what I am gonna have to zonk is you're not getting really any supercharger whine from inside. You hear supercharger whine if you're standing outside the vehicle, but inside the vehicle, there's really no supercharger whine. So that is a zonk to me, especially in a supercharged performance sedan, but it's got the power, that's for sure. Visibility is great. Obviously the car is smaller than the Charger, so it feels a lot more nimble, a lot more tidy, but uh, are you ready? On oh, here we go. Yeah. <laughs> wow, on oh, the brakes, look at this. Jeez Louise. Here we go. from the wheel, smooth downshifts. When you go on throttle, you definitely hear the roar of that LT4. And that has a nice rhyme to it. I really, I'm digging the rhyme action that you get there. But when you slow down, you get nice burbles. Not really any pops, but some, some deep throaty burble action for sure. Got a pop there, and when it shifted, 
definitely got a nice pop. I love the way they display the tachometer, your speed, and then the dash is just a thing of beauty. Nice large size, getting to everything is well within reach in this thing. You got the digital rear view mirror. My advice is definitely, uh, definitely get yourself some type of radar detector or a get out of jail free card from your uh, local Monopoly game. Cause this thing is, it'll get you in trouble. All right, guys, I put it into manual shift mode. You just take the shift lever, pull it back one more time, and that puts you into that manual mode using the paddles. On fire, we got it! <laughs> oh, look, look at this thing. Nice downshifts. God! The shifts are so freaking fast. They're so fast. That's the crazy thing. It's like when you go through, it's like I can't even keep up with the tech because of how fast the shifts are. But down, second gear. Oh, it's right. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> nice. On the brakes. Down shift. Down shift. Golly. Look at this. Wow, wow, wow. This thing is a cruise missile and so freaking smooth. That's another thing is that it's so smooth. And the way that they did the sound deadening in here, the rigidity of the structure, it, it, it's, it's freaking ridiculous. What they're able to do with the materials, the performance, the whole nine yards. But definitely comparing this to uh, to a Charger Hellcat or a Hellcat Red Eye, it, it really is a that mixed bag because you are getting such great performance with this vehicle. And it's crazy that with almost 500 pounds less weight, it really levels the playing field. And it just goes to show it's not just about horsepower numbers, it's all about, well, what is the weight of the vehicle? How balanced is it? Does it get the power to the ground? That's one thing is that the traction management system, the performance traction management system in this car, it outdoes whatever Dodge is doing when it comes to getting the power to the ground. That's for sure. And then the brakes, like I said, you stop on a dime, guess what? You reach in, you get your change, and you give it to everybody. That's what you do. Really, really great setup like that to be able to stop on a dime and give everybody change. One more time on throttle. On throttle, here we go. <laughs> We got to get back to Dream Giveaway Garage because I could drive this Cadillac all the way home to my garage. And remember, if you spend $25 or more and use Rady's Rides in that promo code area, you're going to get double chances to win this beast. So just something to remember. That's something that Dream Giveaway does. I don't get paid to say that. They don't give me any money. They just want to help the Radies Rides fans out there have a greater chance of winning this piece. But we're going to get back to Dream Giveaway and wrap this one up. So I will see you in... Hot Throttle, yeah! <laughs> Woo! I will see you in a split second. All right, guys. It's been another great day here at Dream Giveaway Garage. I definitely got to thank Lori, Ryan, and the rest of the crew for getting us access to this Blackwing. Remember... You spend $25 or more, use that Radies Rise promo code, you get double the giveaway chances to win this Blackwing. And like I mentioned earlier, I am not paid or told to advertise this. They just want to help Radies Rise members have a greater chance of winning. But what do you think? Is the Blackwing the way to go, the CT5V Blackwing the way to go over a Charger Hellcat or Hellcat Red Eye? I'm dying to read what you're gonna say in the comment section. So definitely put it down there. If you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rides family. If you wanna help us keep making great content just for you in the channel, click that link in the description. Get yourself some Radies Rides merch. Gotta give it up to the muscle behind the lens. She's wearing that crown very proudly. She's gonna win Videographer of the Year for 2022. Show Lori some love in the comment section. Thank you, Lori, for being the best in the biz. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.